Now here's a tale of Billy Hayes from out near Alice Springs. A wild young ringer in his days. He'd done some crazy things. Jumped bulls over fences. Rode a cold up Ayers rock. See his legs weren't made for walking. No, they were built to ride stock. A legend round the rodeos, from Aileron to Broome. An untried horse at 6am was saddle broke by noon. No form of equine foolery, Bill wasn't game to try. Only one thing ever spooked him. He was way too scared to fly. Now if I was meant to do it, I'd have feathers in a beak. You take the plane there in a day, I'll drive and waste a week. I'm told they're safe as houses and mechanically they're sound. But I don't see no rope or bridle, so I'm sticking on the ground. Then one day Billy got a phone call from his mate in Adelaide. Seemed he'd got his girl in trouble and the wedding cards were played. Oh Bill, I don't care how you do it. You can beg or steal or borrow. But mate, you're gonna have to take the plane because the big day's on tomorrow. Well, Billy cursed and swat, spat at that dopey bloody coot. He knows I'll jump on anything that's coming out of shoot. I've caught stallions, that would kill you. Caught bulls gone off their brain. I never thought there'd come the day I'd have to catch a plane. So Billy legged it to the airport and thought, well this is it. The lady at the counter asked, hey, what do you want to see? Well geez, you know that black box thing they always seem to find? You can stick me right inside it if you wouldn't bloody mind. She gave a friendly smile, sir, I'll just take your bag. He said, I don't bloody think so, and by the way, it's called the swag. Now, Bill was sweating buckets when they finally cleared the strip. He had his seatbelt done up that tight, he was bleeding from the hip. But when they leveled out and he stopped shaking at the knees, he looked around, relaxed, and thought, hey, this flying game's a breeze. He unclipped his buckle, stretched out in his seat, but he couldn't stretch that much because his swag was at his feet. The captain crackled something. Bill asked the hostess what was said. Sir, you'd better buckle up. There's some turbulence ahead. Turbulence? What's that? It's pockets caused by heat. And when it gets severe, it can throw you from your seat. Throw me? Be buggered. Bill pushed his seat right back, wrapped his legs around his swag, stuck his left hand through the strap. He jammed down his Akubra, he was ready now to ride, and when things got really bumpy, Billy yelled, Outside! Well, the plane she dropped a thousand feet, rose up 500 more. When his head near hit the seal and Billy gave a mighty roar, I've rode all through the territory and never come unstuck. So give me all you got, big bird, and buck you bastard back. And while the other passengers were screaming in fear of certain death, Billy whooped and hollered till he near ran out of breath. You'd swear that canvas swag was welded to his ass, And before the ringer knew it, he'd bucked his way to business class. Well, there seemed no way to tame this creature. It had ten forward gears and reverse. But it didn't worry Billy, he just bucked on through to first. He did somersaults with twists on this mongrel mount from hell. He yelled out to the pilot, for Christ's sake, ring the bell. Oh, Bill was bleeding from the bugle. He had cuts above both eyes. If you weren't there on the spot, you'd probably think I'm telling lies. He'd been upside down and inside out, done flips and triple spins. You may have seen some great rides in your day, but hands down, Billy wins. Well, the flight returned to normal. Bill was flat out on the deck. Still stuck to his swag, but, oh jeez, he looked a bloody wreck. He pulled himself together, stood up straight and raised his hat. Said, hey, I've had some tough trips in my time, but never one like that. An eight second spin in Alice proves you made of sturdy stuff. But I was on there near a minute, and I reckon that's enough. Now the first class folk were dumbstruck at this crazy ringer's feet. But Bill just grabbed a crownie, walked back to his seat. Now years gone by and 
Bill's long give, the bucking game away. Too many breaks and dusty miles for far too little pay. Now, planes are not a problem. In fact, he'd rather fly than ride. And when he talks about his maiden trip, his chest puffed out with pride. You can talk about your Rocky Neds or that old chainsaw bloke. I ride them bump without a rope. Roll of bloody smoke. There's cowboys round that think they're hot, but they ain't tasted heat. So they've ridden time on turbulence at 30,000 feet.